you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I came to Melee Island because I want to be a pirate. Well, you picked the right place for it. Though perhaps the wrong time. <laughs> Not to mention the wrong name. <laughs> you have the silliest name I've heard in a long time. What the heck is wrong with Guybrush Threepwood? Hmm, nothing if you want to sell shoes. You want to be a pirate, boy? Take my advice. Change your name. Uh, try something like uh, Dreadbeard or Six-Fingered Pete. Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. I'm over here. Huh? Oh. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck. Excuse me, but the... Now oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Whatever. Hurry up! Can I help you? What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? 
I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of aid you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Mint. How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! You don't look innocent to me. Well, you wouldn't either if you've been in here as long as I have. What did you do to wind up in there? I didn't do anything! Especially not do those dumb flowers! Oh, who framed you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cookie the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops! I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. He seems innocent to me. Why don't you let him out? Maybe you should mind your own business, stranger. I'll decide who's innocent and who's guilty around here. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it! Wherever you go on melee, I'll be watching. 
And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. No, not the red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Hack! <laughs> Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. <laughs> that should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks! Here's the cake.
I locked the sheriff in there. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. I was just gonna borrow it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just borrowing it. That's right, I loaned it to him. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, you were just going to borrow it, eh? Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. I see. Well... You're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! Rufenkiv! Glingly? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker! Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. 
This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be... Preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly.